Here we have a 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLE 250D 4MATIC AMG Night Edition. Now with this vehicle you do get four 20 inch alloy wheels in excellent unmarked unscratched condition as you can see just there. As we come around to the front you'll see we've got a Pan America style front grille which looks fantastic. We've got the bonnet fence on top just there give it quite an aggressive look. We've got the night pack on this vehicle, which means we've got various bits blacked out and de-chromed like the Mercedes badge in there. We've then got our second alloy wheel. Again, excellent unmarked condition, as are the rest. We've got the black wing mirrors, black roof rails, color-coded door handles, privacy glass for the rear passengers with black trim around the windows. We've got the side steps down at the bottom there. And there's a look at that third alloy wheel. As we come to the rear, we do have both front and rear parking sensors, as well as a reversing camera. We've got the dual exit exhaust. We've got a power assisted tailgate as well. So if I press the button just there, that will open up for us like so. Completely effortless. Plenty of storage in here, as you would expect of a vehicle of this size. We've got the storage net on the right. We've got a cubby on the left with first aid kit. We've then got our 12 volt connectivity just there too. Parcel shelf there as well, in case you missed that. We've then got the bus in here. Goes straight back down for us as well. Completely effortless. And as you can see, the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Now we've then got our fourth alloy wheel. Just there. So if you could take a look inside, we have got a full leather interior. As you can see just there, we've got ISO fix points within these seats, fold down armrest, we've got the vents in the middle with additional storage both there and there with some additional 12 volt connectivity below. We've then got the nets behind the front passengers, AMG floor mats just there as well. There's a closer look at these seats. Now on the doors we've got our brush metal handle, integrated speakers, electric window control and additional storage. In the front here, We've got that same full leather interior, which looks fantastic. On the doors, we've got our electrically adjustable memory seats, incredibly easy to use and adjust like so. We've then got lock and unlock button, brush metal handle, electric power folding wing mirrors, electric window control with child lock for the rear, and a boot release just there. We've then got some additional storage and more integrated speakers, more leather trim on here as well with the stitching. Looks fantastic. Now stepping inside, Start the vehicle up, foot on the brake, push the button as we do have keyless go. We've got our infotainment screen in the middle just here, which I'll run through in a second. But as you can see, the vehicle has covered just over 49,700 miles and we are free from any warning lights on the dashboard there. We've then got our multifunctional steering wheel, different controls whilst we're on the go. Paddle shifters just behind for taking manual control of the gears. Auto lights on the right there, as well as our start button. We've then got on the left here, a speed limiter and cruise control, as well as an electrically adjustable steering wheel. As you can see just there, it moves incredibly easy and it's very easy to get into the position you want. We've then got our infotainment screen, which at the moment you can see we've got navigation on display. We've then got DAB and FM radio. Also different forms of media connectivity like USB, Bluetooth, disc and memory card plenty of ways to connect your devices to listen to music. We do also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so we can connect our phone to make calls or listen to music. Now we've then got different driving modes. So we've got individual, sport, comfort, slippery, and off-road as well. So you can choose whichever one of these best suits your driving at the time. Now if I put the vehicle into reverse, you'll see we do have our reversing camera as well as a visual display of our sensors down in that corner as well. I can flick across and also access this view so you can use whichever you're more comfortable with. Now if we move down we've then got our stereo controls so I've just been using these to navigate the infotainment screen. Very different controls, very easy to get used to. Both front passengers are treated to heated seats as you can see just there. We've then got the traction control just there, start stop technology, our hazard lights and a button to turn off our parking sensors. We've then got our dual zone climate controls down here again, so we can control each side of the vehicle's temperature independently, as well with air conditioning. 
Now down below we've got some additional storage here where we've got the key at the moment. We've then got two good sized cup holders, additional storage and 12 volt connectivity. Now here we've got a M button, so that's for taking the vehicle into manual control using your paddle shifters. Or we've got hill descent control, as you can see just there. So we can control the speed in which we descend down a hill. And then we've got the analytics button just here. So if I go into off-road, for example, on here, so this is what I touched on before with the different driving modes. If I go onto this now, and we'll just wait for that to go off, then it gives us different bits of data dependent on our travel. So if I turn the steering wheel, you'll see that does move. Whereas it will just give us live data dependent on which mode we're in. Very nice feature to have all of that data at your fingertips. Moving down, we've then got our control wheel and touchpad, which works with the infotainment screen just there. We've then got a soft touch leather armrest, which also doubles up as storage. Now the vehicle is ready to drive away today with free next day nationwide contactless delivery, competitive, low finance, fresh service, fresh MOT, and it's also HPI clear. That's all from me on this video. Thank you for watching. Video test drive for this Mercedes-Benz GLE 250D. Now the purpose of this video today is to show you that the car drives exactly how you would expect. For example, now I'm not having to wrestle with the steering wheel to keep the vehicle in a straight line. I'll also go through some of the vehicle's features and demonstrate that they work how you would expect. Starting off, we have got cruise control. To activate this, I simply push the stalk up and we're now cruising at our previous speed. So I'm now cruising at 49 miles an hour. I can adjust that in one or five, like so, by pushing up or down. To deactivate this, I can either apply pressure to the brake or push away from me, and we're back to normal control. We've then got our paddle shifters just here. So I'm currently in fifth gear, down to fourth, down to third, back to fourth, into fifth, and into sixth. And as you can tell, through those gear changes, completely seamless transitions, no jerky motions at all, no unwanted sounds either exactly how you would expect. Now we are just approaching the roundabout where we'll be taking a left turn as if you were here with us today. And it's a good point to mention the comfort of this vehicle. I mean, we've got the full leather interior which is also heated and electrically adjustable as well as memory assigned. So if you and a spouse or whoever shares the vehicle you can have your favourite positions assigned to a number and then as soon as you get in the car press that number and it's back to exactly how you like it. We've then got the electrically adjustable steering wheel as well so it's really easy to get comfortable in this vehicle without much hassle. We've then got all the modern amenities that you could desire as well, things like Apple CarPlay, sat nav as, as well as Bluetooth connectivity, you can make calls, whatever you please. Really everything you could want from a vehicle. Now here at RS Car Sales we have been doing deliveries for the last three to four years as well as three next day nationwide deliveries for the last year and a half. So although the COVID-19 situation has had a huge impact on many businesses and still is doing to this day, we feel that we're quite well prepared. So we have adjusted our deliveries ever so slightly to make them contactless. And what this means is we'll sanitize our hands, we'll sanitize the keys, and we'll just do an extra thorough clean of the vehicle before delivering it to yourself, just to ensure your safety and our own. And we are a five-star dealership as well. If you look online, we've got over 300 five-star reviews on Google and Auto Trader alone, as well as many others on sites like Car Gurus. So if you go online, check these reviews out, you'll see that our customers really do reiterate the fact that we are a dealership that cares. And we really do want you to have such a good buying experience from ourselves that you would recommend us to your friends, to your family, and even come back to us when the time is due for your next vehicle purchase. Now, I'm just about to take a right turn into the industrial park where I'll perform an emergency brake and demonstrate that the reverse functions as it should. So, three, two, one. There we go. As you can see, very sharp brakes, no knocks or bangs throughout this whole journey as well, I must add. Now, I've put the vehicle into reverse. We've got our reversing camera as well as visual display for our sensors on the right, all working exactly how you would expect. Now, this is usually where you'd be extremely happy with the vehicle. You want to come inside, see what kind of deal you could work out. Obviously, you're not here at the moment, but do feel free to give us a call to book an appointment to view this vehicle in person. Or if there is anything we have missed in our online photos, the video walkthrough, or this test drive, again, get in touch. We'd be more than happy to help out where we can. Now, part exchanges are welcome. Just let us know the make, model, and condition of the vehicle you're wishing to part exchange. And that's all from me. So I hope you found this useful, and we'll hopefully hear from you soon. Cheers.